YouTube. Uh, today I'll be making a tutorial on Infinite Flight Live or you could say Infinite Flight Multiplayer. Okay, there's a lot of you guys that are asking for this tutorial and uh, I'm just going to put all my experience and I'm going to try and explain everything to you guys as simple as possible so you guys can uh, understand the basics of this tutorial. Okay, before we get into the game, I would like you to have a look at this picture first. Right, this is the position callouts, that's how I call it, which is really important for Infinite Flight Live since Infinite Flight Live is based on ATCs and uh, position reports. So, this is something that you should understand. Uh, so you be able to get uh, this into the game later on. Okay, I'm going to start off with departures. Uh, let's say the runway here. This is runway 09. And this is runway 27. Okay? For example. And you are departing out from 09. Let me just uh, make my pen a bit... Uh, Click here, 09 and 27. Okay, and as I was saying, we are departing from runway 09 and we are, let's say you want to depart straight out, here it is, we're departing straight out, that's where you're gonna, when you, when you press on the on the depart on the takeoff, there's different uh, sections that you can choose. Uh, either departing straight out or departing north. We'll see all that later on uh, in the game. Okay. Uh, so crosswind. We're gonna go on crosswind. This, if we are departing from runway zero nine, okay, then here. This is left crosswind as we departing left. This is the left crosswind as we're looking at the runway. For example, let's put this. Oopsie. Okay, let me just uh, fix this. Okay, let's say this is A, point A, and this is point B. Okay? Let's put. And this is the runway. This is runway 09. This is point A, which is here. And this is point B, which is this one. As we're looking at the runway, point A is left. And point B is right. Okay. Let's carry on with our tutorial. Uh... So, as we departed, and we want to report position, then we say we're on left crosswind runway 09. Or either, if you are coming through here, and this side, it will be, you are departed uh, right crosswind runway 09. Let me just uh, erase this. You're making an, this is 45 degree angle entry from uh, from here to here. We don't have this call out in Infinite Flight. We just have downwind, crosswind, final, and base. So downwind. This aircraft is on left downwind runway zero nine. As we are looking from position A and B, like I said before, this should be left downwind runway 09 and when you approach for, for final then this is called left base runway 09. If you guys could, like I said before, it doesn't matter 
w in which direction you guys are making an entry from or base. Is, if you were looking at the runway, so this is runway 09, this is right base, and that's left base. I hope I make sense, guys, with all this. Uh, so, if you guys keep this in mind, we'll see it shortly in the video, in the game. So, uh, just remember this picture, which is really, really important for uh, position callouts in Infinite Flight. Okay, so uh, the final part is on final when you're about to land. So, here's final. And this is when we report final, so that means we have runway in sight and we are about to land. So we press on final and runway 09. Okay, let's go and see all this in the game. So before I get in the game, I want you to we're just gonna press on live, which is the multiplayer, and also uh, you guys, uh, you can choose your own plane if you are pl flying with uh, an airline and you want to uh, get change the names or flight numbers or whatsoever. You can easily do this by pressing on the right corner here. Just press there, and you will see all this um, in front of you. So display name. Hey guys, as you can see, my display name is Gadget Pilot, uh, and you can just add this by just pressing on on Infinite Flight uh, Gadget Pilot. Let's say, type in whatever you guys want, and then just press OK, and then your display name will be set. Okay, the call sign is uh, my call sign in the game. So every time I use the callouts, it will say, for example, Emirates 99 Super is on final or is on left base or whatever. You can, all, you can, the same, you can change this by just pressing on it and just text, uh, just type whatever you guys want. Okay. Uh, Online time. This is uh, my online time. I've been flying uh, in this game, and also my XP and standing. The standing is uh, very important. Uh, I am hundred percent standing. This is uh, for example, if you're a beginner, you will start from zero, and you're gonna have to go up to eighty-five percent to be able to get in big airports like I am flying now. Uh, so you will uh, achieve your standing order by just pr playing uh, and until you get reach uh, your goals. I'll explain that how you guys can manage to uh, get to this rank uh, in the in the video. Okay, let's uh, start off our tutorial. Let's go see this live in the game as um, I hope you guys still remember the image I just show you a few minutes ago it's very important for callouts and we're gonna go ahead and see all this right. I am traveling I will be flying today with a nearby 380 as I am Emirates Okay, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and make a very quick flight plan here to... I am uh, based in San Diego International and I'll be flying to KLAX, which is Los Angeles International. Alright, I'll just make it here. Okay, then I'm making a shop, left turn, woods, one, two, two, five, right. Alright, that's it. Let's go ahead and heat everything up and prepare for the takeoff. 80C. Now I just pressed on the ATC guys and you can see KSAN, which is San Diego International Channel. So I'm just gonna 
hit on taxi because I'm about to taxi to the runway so taxi and I'll be flying from runway 27 which is San Diego on a calm Emirates 99 super on the right hand side to runway 27 there we are you guys heard that that's how ATC works I'm gonna go out and change my I don't want my okay Oopsie guys, I'm San being... Diego on a calm. Kill a Lima Mike 364. I'm just gonna Taxi move this out the way for now. So I can press my setting bar. Sorry, that's my recorder. Alright. And I'm gonna put it back where it was again. Alright, let's taxi, let's go. Push back. By the time I'm getting pushed, I'm just gonna be setting my attitude. I'll be reaching 12,000 feet and I'll be using flap 8 degrees for takeoff. Right, line up with the yellow line on the ground there. San Diego on a calm. Malaysian 1 1 heavy is clear of all runways. Right, guys, I uh, will get to all the, the call outs so you guys see what's going on in ATC. San Diego on a calm is using runway 27, right traffic. Alright, this call out you guys are hearing is really important for everyone to. Uh, to that is playing the, the game now. All right, I'm gonna taxi to my runway. Singapore two 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 is twelve nautical miles to the northwest at twelve thousand five hundred feet. Inbound for landing. We'll make right traffic for runway two seven. So it means it's somewhere here. Alright guys, on online there's a few things that you guys need to keep in mind. We can't go over speed uh, when taxiing to the runway. I did a bit, a bit of a mistake here. I almost went in the runway, sorry guys. I was just looking at something. Uh, like I said, it's really important to keep your speed for taxi, which is 30 knots maximum. If you overtake that, you will lose rank standing, and we don't want that. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll start this tutorial again, guys, once we in the air of the callouts and your how to succeed and and uh, add standings on the game so you will be able to travel in all airports in infinite flight uh, and I'll do this in a second after we we take off I'm going to start opening my strobe lights now. I see a plane out there. See that? He's coming in for landing. Nope, maybe not. I can see him descending though. He might be coming into our 
Let me just check this. Yep, he's definitely landing in on runway 27. San Diego on a calm. Echo Kill 7484 is taking off runway 27, departing west. San Diego on a calm. Singapore 222, going around. Right, there's an aircraft in front of us now, and so we're going to have to wait for him to take off first before we take off. And uh, I will send a holding short signal as we are near the runway. So now we're going to stop. We don't want to get too close to the aircraft. Right, we're waiting for this Korean Airbus 380 to get out of the way. And then we will be all set for takeoff. So now ATC, I'm gonna send and I'm gonna tell all the everyone that's having uh, ATC open that I'm holding short runway two seven. Since I'm waiting for these airbars to get out uh, the runway for us to take off. Okay, there he is. Time to go. All set for takeoff, guys. Yep. All set and ready to depart. So I'm gonna get prepare my takeoff. Uh, so just press on takeoff and departing. I'll be flying north. San Diego on a calm. Emirates 99 Super is taking off runway 27, departing north. San Diego on a calm. Echo kill 7484. Holding short runway 27. San Diego on a calm. November 402 Whiskey Killa, taxiing to runway 27. Well, guys, let's take off. San Diego on a calm, Delta 97, taxiing to runway 27. Gear up. San Diego on a call. Echo Set. kill seven four eight four is clear knots. of all runways. Right, guys, it's really important. We can't fly over two fifty knots or uh, under ten thousand feet. So. I would like everyone to keep that in mind, otherwise you'll be losing points if uh, you see a red warning at the bottom of your screen of overspeed. Right, uh, I'll be climbing at 2,500 feet per minute, as you can see, and now I'm going to start turning my aircraft and we'll be departing uh, north of on the map all right guys now i'm i'm just imagining this map as a, as there is a compass here so where i am now is south west east and north so you could also say i'm departing west on this uh for this airport 
Right, let's go see all the callouts as we are in the air. I'm gonna fly at 2000, to, sorry, at uh, 250 knots. That's it. Okay, and ATC, report position. Uh, these are the callouts uh, I showed you on the photo before we started this uh, flight. Uh, as you can see, right downwind, right base, left downwind, left base, final, right crosswind, left crosswind. Okay, now as, as you can see now, we're on right crosswind, runway 27. Okay, because 27 is here on our... Here we are. So we're on the right of uh, runway 27 departing. And uh, also, let's go check back. We'll be using the call out when we're going to be reporting our position for landing soon. Uh, go around. The, the go around. You will, we use this when we are about to land and we have someone in the runway or if the wind directions change and we have tailwind and we have to turn around and all that and that's it basically for going around and announce inbound announce inbound I will be pricing this when I'm almost at uh, Los Angeles Airport just to announce that I will be landing uh, at uh, Los Angeles so I'll be using uh, that when it's time Tra request traffic advisories okay this is when again when we are near for landing and I will be asking well, just to know what's going on at the runway so every time I press that they will be telling me in which direction or what's going on on the runway send traffic and advisories is when you are about to land and you can just press this that you are using runway let's say 27 or whatsoever and also you can use this for takeoff uh, when someone is uh, asking you if, if uh, someone is requesting a traffic adventure you can just tell them that you are using runway uh, 27 or whatever you guys are using that is it guys for the call out I'll be showing you uh, shortly how we will be using the call outs for landing also and see how things are working there okay I'm gonna extend my speed to 400 knots for uh, cruise this is it Okay, I'll come back again when we are near the runway, when we are near the airport basically, so you guys don't uh, stay with me all this journey. I'll be back in a few minutes just to carry on this uh, landing procedure. Okay, see you soon. Okay guys, we are back again and we are ready to start our descent. So I'm going to start uh, descending to 2,700 feet as uh, these are the requests for the airports. Okay, I want you guys to see this. Now, let's, for example, we are, we are about to land at uh, Los Angeles International. I'll press on Los Angeles and up on the right hand side you can see different attitudes and uh, all that if you are flying on past the airport let's say you're flying over KLAX sorry KLAX uh, airport then you should be between 4100 to 8200 feet these are the minimums of uh, you traveling over this airport and as if you go down and see the F S F C is 2700 feet which you can't fly lower than 2700 feet it's this is our approximate uh, attitude for approaching the airport okay 
Uh, I'll go ahead and start getting down to 2,700 feet. Uh, I'll be more uh, specific on this fact as soon as we land. I will I will show you guys what I mean. Oops, my bad. go so uh, like I said uh, this is our map so now I am here and I'll be approaching soon and uh, right If you press on each on different airports, you will see on your left different standing requests. So, for this uh, airport, you are required to have 50% standing. Uh, for example, this airport, you do not have any. Uh, standing required as you can see it's zero percent so if you're if you're a beginner I suggest you start you will be starting from airports like this and by flying uh, to different airports with zero standing then you will be able to increase your standing so and then you can be able to fly to bigger airports okay if you your standing is low. You also cannot fly over airports like with uh, higher standings than you are. This is very, very, very important. So, for example, if you are, your standing is five percent, and you're flying from Catalina Airport, then you have to go round the airports. You won't be able to fly over. Uh, Big airports like Tijuana or whatever because the standing is over your standing okay now I'm gonna start sending in that my approach after KLX International announce inbound landing at runway 25 right which is our landing runway the runways in red guys you cannot land on that means that the wind is blowing the opposite direction so you can't land do not land in red you can only land in in green and orange numbered I'm gonna extend my descent guys I'm gonna cut down speed to 200 knots now flaps 8 degrees go to open my landing lights you open your landing lights uh, as soon as you uh, are under 10,000 feet inbound for landing We'll make straight and for runway two five left. Los Angeles on okay. Korean Air two hundred. Now I'm gonna report position guys. I'm on left base, runway two five right. As you can see here, this is our runway. And we own left base. Left base. Los Angeles on a we could have, I could have waited a bit more to announce the left base. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay. I'm gonna send traffic. Uh, I'm gonna request for traffic advances just, just, just to see what's going on at the runway. I'm gonna get ready for my final, so I'm gonna have it uh, ready. So I don't have to do this. Holding short runway two five left. Los Angeles Unicom. 
You guys can hear what's going on with ATC. This is brilliant. It's something if you have never tried before, it's something to try if you have, if you guys can. Okay, now. Los Angeles Unicom, Sino Airlines, crossing runway 25 right. Los Angeles Unicom, Charlie India 915, taxi to runway 25 right. Los Angeles Unicom, Korean Air 214 is on final runway 25 right. Los Angeles Unicom, Captain Patty, taxiing to runway 25 right. Los Angeles Unicom, okay. November 276 Echo Victor is taking off runway 24 right. We'll be out from our waypoint here. Yeah. Los Angeles Unicom, American 47, taxiing to runway 25 right. All right, now. I'm going to start sending my final. Los Angeles Unicom. And I'm going to also get ready to send it one more time when I'm on short final. right. Los Angeles Unicom, Lima Hotel 456. I'm gonna descend and I'm gonna keep my auto throttle on, guys. My speed to 140 knots. For now, gear down. Spoilers set because I'm a bit high. Los Angeles Unicom, Charlie India 915, holding short runway 25 right. Los Angeles Unicom. Delta 37 Heavy is on final Laps. runway 25 Ooh. right. Los Angeles Unicom. Delta 37 Heavy is on final runway Let's see where the runway right. is at. There it Los is. Los Angeles Unicom. Maryland Air 181 is 32 nautical miles to the southwest at 4,000. Really foggy. Inbound for land. Los Angeles. We'll make straight in for runway 25 left. Oops. Mistake. Los Angeles Unicom. Korean Air 214 is on final runway 25 right. Now I'm going to send my short final report. Los Angeles Unicom. Emirates 99 Super is on final runway 25 right. Los Angeles Unicom, Lima Hotel 456 is taking off runway 25 right, departing straight out. Oh no, someone's Los trying to get in the runway. Korean Air 214 is clear of all runways. Los Angeles Unicom, Emirates 99 Super is inbound. Request traffic advisory. By accident, I said that. I wasn't looking at the runway, guys. And I'm a bit low now. But does it matter? I'll make it on time. We're going in for a nice landing, as you uh, see from here. Los Angeles Unicom, Captain Patty, holding short runway 25 right. Los Angeles Unicom, Speedbird 44 heavy, taxiing to runway 25 off. right. Los Angeles Unicom, Delta 37 heavy is on final runway 25 right. Los Angeles Unicom, Captain Patty. Holding short runway 25 right. I was going to be a bit out of the runway, but I just turned the aircraft right in time there. That's it. We made it at. Uh, No, Los Angeles Unicom, Maryland Air 181 is on final, runway 25 left. Los Angeles Unicom, 
AirTran 27 is 22 nautical miles to the southeast at 7,500 feet. Inbound for landing, we'll make straight in for runway 25 right. Los Angeles on a call. Captain no guys, uh, what we're going to do next right. is I'm going to send a week out of all the more runways. So I'm going to go back and send clear of all Inbound runways for just for It'll everyone to for know that the runway is clear from me. And we are taxiing to our gates, which were, this is where we're going to stop at. Strobe lights off and landing lights off as we are stopping. Runway two five left. All right, guys. Finally stopped. Let me just close my beacon lights and my seat belt sign off, so I won't kick it off. All right. So, like I said before, guys, if you're a beginner on Infinite Flight Live, you will be starting off with. Uh, zero standing so you will be requested to uh, fly over your over airport that you are allowed to fly for example this airport here you will be starting off from here and you will be going down without being in the way of big airports and guys seriously no one started with high with high standing so you guys need to be patient practice fly you need hours to reach 100 percent standing you can achieve that we all we were all in your uh, shoes and now we can fly where, where, wherever we, we like. So you can do that as well. Keep flying. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please uh, write it down below in the comment box and uh, I'll be happy to help you all out. Thank you for for watching guys. See you guys again later. Take care. Bye.